Here we're looking at a researcher and a research assistant's independent ratings of the severity of 35 instances of playground bullying. If we toggle the value labels, we can see that one indicates mild bullying, two is moderate, and three is severe. And in most instances, the two researchers' ratings agree. However, that's not always the case. Now, weighted kappa isn't available in SPSS by default. However, we can add it as a menu item by downloading an SPSS extension. And you'll only need to do this once. So in the extensions menu, select extension hub, and then search for kappa. So this is the extension that we want, uh, weighted kappa. So tick get extension and then OK. And there's a license that we need to uh, agree to the terms of. And the extension is just installing. Excellent. So now when we go to the analyze menu in the uh, scale sub menu, we've got a new menu item weighted kappa. So we need to move the two sets of ratings into the rating one and rating two fields. And underneath there's the choice between linear and quadratic weightings. And in most instances, linear will be appropriate. So if we click OK. Now the output for weighted kappa is very simple. Um, the kappa figure here is 0.869. And that represents a good level of agreement between the two raters. And if needed, there's also a confidence interval around kappa that you can report and a significance test. And the significance test is simply testing whether our kappa departs significantly from zero. And here it does.